the Joe Rogan experience. What do you think is responsible for that shift from Ted of 2008 to Ted of 2019? Michael Pollan's book, probably. Uh, yeah. Michael Pollan's book was, was the big bridge. And, yeah. Uh, he has 40 pages on me. And uh, Michael, if you're listening, buddy, dude, I told him not to reveal my secret mushroom patch. Never trust a journalist. And Michael Pollan, bless his heart, I love him. He's a great guy. But he said in his book, so, so to speak, he says, Paul told me not to tell you where my, his secret mushroom patch is, but I can tell you that we slept in a yurt. There are three state parks along the Columbia River, and two of them have yurts. He just basically – He gave up your spot. He gave up my spot. And it's like, okay, Michael. Why would um, he do that? I think it's the urge of a writer trying to give something to their readership. You know, um, so what happened to that spot? Get trampled? It's it's, it's run over with uh, people collecting psilocybin mushrooms. They have big signs everywhere. They arrest people. It's a huge income source now for the for cops. The, for the cops because they bust people. But it, but the, the the good news about that is I have gone on to these state parks and because there's big signs of no mushroom picking and law enforcement's there. There's lots of mushrooms. They're everywhere, and so I can photograph them, but you're not allowed to touch them. So they, what do they check you on your way out? Oh, they're they're like bees on honey, so to speak. Come on, they are that hiding. In the, so they're hiding in the bushes. Crazy. They are alpha male. You types. imagine that? Yeah. They're they've got drugs growing out of the ground, and they're like, and they don't swarm, touch it. They swarm. Don't it. touch it. Well, this is. I had a lot of fun uh, with my friend because I got a stick, and I go. Okay, I touch the mushrooms with a stick. Now, am I actually touching the mushrooms or not? Because if you touch the mushrooms, they check your pockets. They they will search you. Yeah, they'll search you for just randomly. No, if they have you know reason to believe, reason to believe they can search you. Stuff them in your underwear, bro. (laughs) Just take a big fat baggie, or swallow them quickly. But um, you know, I don't. This is it is preposterous. Yeah, what if they find you lying down with, with your eyes dilated? You'd have to talk to them, you know. Um, I don't know if they would do a fecal sample later on oh, or what. Christ. But it, it, it approaches the absurd. Yeah. You know, and this is when the law enforcement becomes absurd. Even the law enforcement officers I know who, you know, you've been in the martial arts a lot all your life, myself as well. I had several schools for about 30 years, and I had several law enforcement officers as students. And yeah, they, they don't want to be involved in that nonsense. They don't want to be involved in that. No, they, they, they get yeah. roped into it by the system. Yeah, they like, like this is not something they want to do. But I know a ton of cops. Not, none of them give a shit about yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, so. yeah. It's, yeah it's, it's, it's hugely, hugely unfortunate consequence of really ridiculous laws. And the, the idea of grown adults telling other grown adults that they can't do something that is incredibly beneficial, that they themselves have never experienced, so they have no knowledge of it at all, other than the ancient stereotypes. Mushrooms being bad, mushrooms being for burnouts and losers and hippies and, oh, you can't handle life. Or they're, or they're, or they're walking hypocrites and they yes. know it. You know, they That's use the it themselves. Worst. Yeah. And That's they, the they're worst. like tormented, but they have to do this. So. Yeah. I, I, I found the most law enforcement officers are extremely reasonable. Yeah, as long as you show intent, you know your, yeah, your intention, and respect, and respect. Yeah, hundred percent. So it's it's never been, but you know I don't subscribe to the defense that someone's doing for spiritual purposes and they have you know hundreds of pounds with Ziploc bags with scales in the basement and doing a commercial operation. Right. You're avoiding taxes. Right. You're producing this as a factory. You know, take it in the chin. You get busted. Hey, come to the territory. Yeah. Eyes wide open. Don't cloak it in like in the veil of spirituality. You're trying to create a spiritual revolution. Unless you're a true saint, you're giving that shit away. Yeah. Well, that would be different. But yeah, I I have a phrase, nature provides, I don't, because I don't want to be responsible for another person's experience. Oh, for sure. What if they have a meltdown and they blame Joe Rogan? Yes. They say Paul Stanley. Yes. I don't, I can't control. That circumstance, I don't want the responsibility. Mm-hmm. It's That's a, one of the reasons yeah. why I've hesitated on getting involved in medical marijuana or, or you know, commercial marijuana. I've been offered, and I'm always like, I just don't think this is the right. Because you, you can't, especially with edibles, you can't control people. Yeah, you don't I, know what they're going to do. I, 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 I,